You walk up to the window and you look outside and all of a sudden you see something terrifying. There's a man standing down in your yard wearing a bag over his head with chains wrapped around it. This is when you know that something crazy is about to happen. So it's just a normal day. This girl, she's walking around the house. She's supposed to be cleaning. Her dad tells her that the yard needs to be mowed. So she's calling out to her brother that the yard needs to be mowed. He's saying no, he's not going to do it and all this stuff. And she's telling her brother, you're supposed to do it. You need to go do it. But then all of a sudden you walk up to your window and you're just looking outside because you're looking at the grass and you're seeing like how bad it actually needs to be mowed. And you look down to the lawn and there's this guy standing down there and this guy is, he's wearing a suit and a tie. He's got this bag, kind of like a burlap bag over his head and it's wrapped in these chains. And you're just staring and all of a sudden your phone rings and it's your dad and he's talking about how he's about to be home. It's going to be a little late to make sure that your brother knows that he don't have to mow the yard because it's going to rain and that mom will be home shortly. Well... She tells her dad about this guy standing out in their yard. And he acts like he knows what's going on. Like he's got some kind of insider information about who this guy actually is. He tells her one thing. He says, whatever you do, don't look away. Like stay there where you're at. Heading home. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm coming straight home. Stay where you're at. Look at that guy constantly. Do not look away. Now you can hear in your dad's voice how serious this situation is. So you listen, you hang up and you're staring at this guy. And you know that the doors and windows need to be locked. So you yell out to your brother, hey, go lock the windows and doors. And he doesn't listen like he always does. And he comes in there, he looks down, and he sees this guy too. Now, you know now that now he can't take his eyes off of this guy because your dad told you that you're supposed to look at this guy constantly. Well, thinking that as long as one of you are looking at him, that it's going to be okay, you decide that you'll go and lock the doors because you don't trust your brother to do it. He don't ever listen. So... You tell him, stay here and watch this guy. I'm going to go lock the doors. You leave the room, you go down and you lock all the doors. And you come back and all of a sudden when you look down to see the guy, he's not there. You think that your brother messed up, so you go to yelling at him. But your brother, here's the kicker, your brother still sees the guy down there, only you don't see. And you're you're thinking that something's wrong and that something that your brother done threw all this off. But then all of a sudden, turn around and there the guy is, standing in your bedroom. He he just shows up behind you. And then all of a sudden, you decide that, okay, you're, you're staring at the guy. One's in the bedroom. Your brother says that he still sees the one that's down there on the lawn, but you see up here so you're wondering what happened here so you stare at this guy and you decide that you got this idea you go around and you grab some tape out of the out of the shell or out of the uh not stand and you go to put it on his eyes and because you think that if he don't see you then you're probably okay and the test is you turn your back to him and all of a sudden he attacks you and this forces your brother to have to look away from the guy that's down in the yard that he is looking at so he don't move. It forces him to turn his eyes off of that guy towards this one and come over and save you. He puts his arms around him, pulls the guy off of you, and all of a sudden both of you are back against the wall staring at this guy. Now, this is when your dad comes in and then he looks over and he, he sees this character. I don't know how he sees him, but he sees this character. He reaches down and he grabs a mirror and he shows it to this guy and this guy disappears. And I, I'm calling him God, but he's obviously some kind of creature. He disappears. Well, they think that everything's okay, but next thing you know, they find out that it's not because you see the one that the brother was looking at was actually a different one. This character had split itself because both of you had seen it at the same time. The one took their eyes off, letting them go towards that person, and while the other one stayed at the person that's watching him. So now, even though they killed one of them, there's still another one out there that's searching for them.